G'day guys, it's Tim from Tim's Adventures. Uh, I'm over here with John. <laughs> and we're on the Sky Rail. This is a local, local form of transport, Sky Rail. We caught the BTS train first and, and now we're doing the Sky Rail thing. And this is the view outside. different way of getting around. Grab a seat while I can. A few westerners here. <laughs> Alright guys. Uh, what can I say? Check it out. <laughs> It's a shrine apparently. I'll fill you in with all the info soon enough. Uh, but it's pretty neat. Okay, back shortly. Alright guys, I'm right under it. Check it out. It's uh, pretty big. Oh, there's a window over there. <laughs> Sort of reminds me of Indian as well. Yeah, man. Have a look around. There's elephants everywhere. Oh, the elephants. Up here as well. Now we'll go back a little bit further. Wow. That's pretty impressive. It's apparently made of copper. I'll find out more details. Yeah. Alright guys, back shortly. Alright guys, we're going into the shrine. Here it is. This might take a little while, this video. Wow, that stained glass is pretty impressive. That's things. Okay. Yeah. Obviously this tells a story. Yeah, this is about Christianity. This one? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. All yeah, 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 it goes all the way up. Different religion. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> They're bowls. That looks like brass. Isn't 
Thailand Siam? It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Huh? But yeah, what? We're going up into the elephant shortly. If I don't fall over first. <laughs> oh, we got a lift. Okay. The window. window. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Gee, this must be a pretty solid structure. Oh, yeah. That was us down there, guys. That I actually pointed to the window. This is where we're at now. Hey. Wow. <laughs> It's made for the westerner. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the view from the bottom. There should be a view up the top. That would be much nicer. Okay. I'll be back shortly when there's something more to see. We'll have a look at this. These pots look look Chinese to me. Yeah. Not that I would know. Looks pretty neat. Let's do it. Alright guys, we're inside the elephant. So it's basically a little mini museum. Okay. Okay, so this bronze is 16th century, over 400 years old. Okay, this one's 15th and 16th century. Okay. I didn't realise it said it actually in English underneath. There it is there, 8th and 9th century. Okay, this is one of the early ones. That's pretty neat. So what were these ones then? How old were these? 
Okay, 12th and 13th century. Oh, nice. Nice to see that I preserved it. Yeah, oh, this one. 19th and 20th. And uh, I forgot to show you this. That's pretty neat. People lay out the money. I don't know what the significance is, but obviously it's a charity thing of some sort. That's inside the giant elephant, guys. That's pretty neat. We're on the outside now. They got fountains going on. I better put the mask back on. All the elephants all the way around. Beautiful garden. We'll have a look at those. Yeah, nice. Uh, I think that's the arse end of the elephant. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to have a look. This is the viewpoint. So you can see the three-headed elephant. There it is there. Very impressive. That inside there is where we were. Where all those statues are. Yeah, pretty neat. And this is the surrounding area. And the garden is down there. And over here. Okay, this is the description and the building of it. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, you get to see what it is. Uh, 100 tons, the elephant's head. The rest, 150 tons, so 250 ton all up. 43 meters, including building height. That's it there. Ah, uh, yeah. Peel Papa was chosen for the surface of the elephant for its high durability and high heat and this is capacity okay. you can read the rest guys this is it these are all the steps that it went through obviously that's the miniature version of it okay and that's it there Another little part over here, look, the fish pond. It's pretty neat. Pond fairies, I'd say, of some sort. And whoa, the elephants, look at the veil of elephants. That's pretty neat. Actually, it'd probably be even neater when you've got a ray like that, but a real elephant. Alright guys, we just came from that bridge over there and this is uh, the rest here. Ah oh, look finally, you see the fish. Yay! I saw a bit of movement and here they, they whacked in some sensors over here. They're not real by the way, those flowers. I thought they were. Usually they put real ones. Okay. Alright guys, this is a bit of food. And this is pork. Okay, and this was 60 baht. So that's two bucks Australian. From a local place over there. And apparently all these little joints 
there's only one cooking station around the back <laughs> so that's the go around here only one spot that cooks it all no right, guys time to uh, have some food all right guys we're in another shopping center <laughs> thought I'd give you a squeeze at this one this is a, a souk and it's a shopping center in a souk what's the name of this shopping center? Terminal 21 oh, Terminal 21 is the actual name of it so here yeah, over here alright there you go
All right, guys, I'm back home. If you noticed, uh, that was a uh, that was my usual ride on the way home because uh, the foot's no good. So yeah, but anyhow, it's better. It's healing, and you might hear on my voice that I've still got the flu. So that's no good. I was covering up, but I went out anyhow and uh, enjoyed myself thoroughly, and uh, enjoyed the pleasures of Thailand, you could say, at um, Nana Plaza, <laughs> and as well, okay, to end the night, I decided uh, to buy some street food, which I should have photographed, I mean, I should have taken a video, I got pork, chicken, and beef, and uh, yeah, uh, I, I already had it earlier, I had a few pieces, so uh, yeah, it was really nice, so I bought more for tonight, for home, Anyhow, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. That, uh, yeah, I enjoyed myself thoroughly, that's for sure. So I had a, quite a few drinks as well, which I enjoyed too after, um, and, and just relaxed, enjoyed the music. There was a live band playing. Yeah, it was a good night. All right, guys, uh, tomorrow's New Year's, so we'll catch you then. Have a good night and uh, like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell, thumbs up and God bless you all. See you on the next one. Bye for now.